Hello everybody. I want to start off by first saying that my name is Keith and that I have been a teleprompter uh, operator in the film, television, uh, concert, corporate industry for at least 30 years, if not more. I, I just stopped counting. I just go to work and do my job and then come home and relax. So what I wanted to, um, I wanted to make these videos because it's about time that I do. Because uh, there's been many times that I could have started a video and just explained a lot of how I got started in the film industry and what it, what I do and a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I finally decided I'm going to take the time and finally do this. I'm finally going to do this. So one thing I get, uh, one question I get asked a lot when I speak to uh, people that are on my job or are part of the event that I'm working on is, how did you get started in what you do? Which is, I am a teleprompter specialist now, after 30 years plus. Uh, so... That's what I want to go over today in this video. Uh, there will be a series of four to five videos, depending on how much I can uh, put into one video. I don't want to make them super long. I want to be able to keep them at a decent, <clears throat> excuse me, a decent time limit so that you don't get bored and that you will uh, be able to enjoy and really pay attention to what I have to say because it's well worth it, uh, especially. If you want to get yourself into the film, television, concert, corporate industry, the film industry in general, uh, this video is for you. And if you're thinking about wanting to uh, be a part of it and, or just curious and uh, what it's like, what it takes and, you know, and all that kind of stuff, a whole bunch of questions that one, one has uh, when they're asking somebody about working in the film industry. So... Let's go ahead and dive in uh, real quick. I even wrote, I wrote me down some little feet notes here real quick, uh, just so that I won't uh, get lost in what I'm going to be talking about. Um, but the first thing I want to do is uh, talk about the, uh, you know, the way I got started or how I got started or be even before that, I want to, I want to go back before I even got started in the film industry and how. I became uh, aware of it, of the uh, industry and, and what I do in the industry as a teleprompter specialist. So back in the early 90s, I was working and living in North Hollywood, California. And I was working at the uh, Sherman Oaks Galleria specifically there at the Sherman Oaks Galleria in Sherman Oaks, California. I was working as a uh, public safety officer, and I uh, I enjoyed myself there. Uh, it was a great time. I eventually <clears throat> became the uh, corporal of the Emergency Operations Center, which is EOC for short. So everything was coming along great, you know. We had bike patrols. I was in charge of the whole office with movable cameras and all bunch of stuff. So things were going great, right? Until about a year later when uh, we got notice that the uh, mall is going to be shutting down. They're closing down the mall. Thus, we need to look for another job. So I was like, uh, flab I was like, what? My mouth was open. <laughs> I, was, I was enjoying myself. I was getting ready. It just blindsided me of them telling us this and uh, find another job. That's it. We're closing. Uh, it was a company called La Salin Partners. Not much that that matters, but in case you might have known about this company or worked at the Sherman Oaks Galleria um, in the in the early 90s back here in Sherman Oaks, California. <clears throat> so there I was out of a job, didn't have a job. Uh, we just had a, new, a newborn baby girl, my wife and I, and 
uh, I was a little, uh, little, con uh, con well, I was going to say a little concerned. I think I, I was worried a lot, you know. My wife was working, thank God. She was working. She had a good job. But, you know, I need to uh, pitch in as well as the father. <clears throat> Sorry for that shake. I'm hitting the, the table here. So I was, uh, you know, contemplating at home. What am I going to do? What is my next step? Where do I go from here? A uh, little distraught, not, you know, out of a job. Um, and we had animals. We had dog, cats. You know, I had a lot of, we had a lot of uh, people to feed and animals to feed and bills to pay. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, it was a very concerning time in my life in the early 90s. So I thought to myself, okay, square yourself away, um, get it together. Think, what is it that I would love to do? What is it that I would want to do or I've always wanted to do my concerns of where I wanted to be at in my job um, career? So I remembered that I've always wanted to work in a studio, in a film studio. So what I did was I, uh, I made my resume in the jobs I had prior. Uh, of course, one of them being at uh, the Sherman Oaks Galleria here in Sherman Oaks, California. And I took it to Universal Studios. And... Um, they said, okay, you know, we'll take a look at it. And if we're interested or we have something for you, we'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Well, I, that's the way it works. Unless they, you know, you get super lucky and they say, okay, we want to hire you on the spot. We got a, a slot open for you, you know. But luckily for me, it, it only took three days. Uh, three days before I got a call from Universal Studios, uh, Human Resources Department. And they uh, asked me if I was interested in being a page. So, of course, I didn't know any of this studio lingo or film industry lingo. Uh, and when she said page, I thought, what, am I going to like stand up like a big page and walk around the studio lot? You know, like a page out of a book or a newspaper or something. <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, that's when I heard page. You know, I was like a page out of a book. or So um, I was like, uh, you know, but at the same time, my head's thinking it's a job offer, you know jump at it. You know, I'm like, get your foot in the door. You know, uh, that's, that's actually one of the, um, the things I tell people when they ask me about how did I start? Or how do I get in? Um, uh, just get your foot in the door. You know, uh, that, uh, you just want to get your foot in the door, be it in a, being a page security, <laughs> whatever, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I'm like, okay, um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. When can you start? Um, anytime. Okay, hey, uh, why don't you come on in tomorrow morning? Uh, what you'll need is a, a navy blue blazer and uh, a tie, you know, that has a, a blue and gray and a white shirt. Uh, they said, but if you don't have those things, we have some that we could lend you until you acquire your own. And I'm like, okay. So uh, I didn't really ask, you know, like, what's a page? What does my job consist of or anything? Because I was desperate. I needed a job. I wanted a job. It was going to be working in the film industry at, at Universal Studios. So how fun is that, right? At least for those of us that like the fun of being, working in the studio. Uh, maybe the, uh, some of you out there that don't want to work in a studio. So, and I'm getting to the, the buildup. This is the buildup of how I got started in the uh, teleprompting industry, working in film, television, concert, corporate, private jobs, all that. So there I was. Um, I went to Universal Studios. Uh, I had luckily found what I needed in my blazer, tie, and all that, and the gray pants. I uh, found everything I needed, so I was ready. I was squared away. I'm prior Army uh, veteran and uh, prior uh, Navy, right, uh, from the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps. 15 years retired. Hoo <laughs> Anyway, booyah. So, um, there I was. Remember, this video is all about how I got started. This is my first video out of maybe four or five uh, series, right? So, I know you're probably wanting to know a whole bunch of stuff right now. But bear with me as this is just the introduction video of who I am and how I got started. 
okay uh maybe i didn't introduce myself first i'm keith senior okay there is a junior keith jr my eldest son uh so there it was universal studios i walk in the human resource office i introduce myself oh yeah hey keith uh, i'm glad you made it okay uh go and see so and so they're going to explain to you your job description and what uh, you need to do okay so there i was signing in and everything so eventually i found out a page is a person who takes all of the people that are waiting to see a, a show, a sitcom, a drama, whatever they have on the studio lot that is airing or being taped on the studio lot. So a page uh, will, you know, uh, wrangle the people up as they come in the line. You make sure they're all in line for the the line that's going to go in to see uh, Seinfeld or whatever it is, whatever show they're they're there to see. I can't think of the top of my head what shows uh, <clears throat> they were that I was working on, but I do remember the image of the process that was going on in the shows. Uh, standing, we had to stand a lot, and there's a whole bunch, but I don't like that. That's too much detail, but anyway, so there was. I gathered them, took them into the studio, uh, told them where to sit. We had to babysit them when they had to go to the bathroom. We had to go with them, make sure they came back, didn't wander off the studio lot or anything. So. <clears throat> there I was doing my thing as a page at Universal Studios. So I thought to myself, well, you know, I, I really like to work at Warner Brothers also because Warner Brothers was just down the hill from Universal Studios. You could see it uh, as you stand up at this water park area of the Kitty uh, Park at Universal Studios. There's a, a, a mezzanine up there uh, that you could see really far away and you could see you know uh, uh, warner brothers was down below there so i thought you know i'm gonna go put a resume at warner brothers as well you know see if i could get something better or different than being a page because it just wasn't my thing i don't even remember how i think three months four months is how long i did a page work at universal studios so took a resume over there to warner brothers um and uh remember this is the advice I give anybody who asks me, uh, how do I get involved in the industry? How do I get in? You know, well, one one big thing is it's a, who you know. You know, if you know somebody that's in, and they're whatever position they're in, if they can give a good word for you or recommend you, or give you good reference, that's a big help. Secondly, it's just getting your foot in the door. Uh, if it's, I I tell people security is a big turnaround. You really want to, if they offer you security, whether it be set watch or regular security, there's a difference, and I'll explain in a bit. But get your foot in the door. That is the the uh, best advice or the most advice I give anybody when they ask me about how do I get started in the film industry or how do I get in, you know, all that, um, is get your foot in the door. So that's what I did. I got They called me after a, a week. And they asked me, hey, uh, are you interested in coming to work for, uh, for, with us in uh, security? I'm like, sure. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do this. So I end up uh, going on an interview. Uh, they approved my interview. Uh, they liked everything I said and um, my resume. So I left uh, Universal Studios for Warner Brothers. And there I was at Warner Brothers. Work, uh, they put me in set watch security. So set watch security is working on the set, just like it says, you know, your security of the, the studio sets. Uh, I worked on my first movie I, I worked on was Space Jams with Michael Jordan and everybody else that was there. Uh, the second movie I worked on on uh, Warner Brothers lot was uh, Executive Decision, which was right next door, the studio next to Space Jam. The studio numbers, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember, but they were all right close together. Third movie that I was working on, there goes my notes, uh, was Executive Decision uh, with uh, Kurt Russell and a whole bunch of other people there, all these actors. And uh, Executive De or, uh, Eraser was with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get my paper and my notes. Um, so uh, let me go over these notes from real quick. Uh, introduction, uh, I don't, how we got started. Uh, how the... Um, uh, the questions were asking me to explain uh, the recommendations. Okay, I did that. <laughs> right, I covered my notes right there for my first video here. Um, was to tell you how I got started. 
uh, in prompting. Um, what are the most asked uh, questions asked of me? Uh, and to explain, you know, uh, what they should do to get started, um, to get your foot in the door, right? So there it is. <clears throat> that's uh, that's what I recommend to anybody when they ask me, how'd you get started, right? So I'm leading up to it still. We still haven't got to the point of, or the part of how I got started in the film industry. I'm getting there. It's almost done. We're almost done. Um, so there I was working at Warner Brothers on those three movies, not at the same time. One would finish, and I would go to the next movie, and then I went to the next. Um, and so working at Warner Brothers, um, I came across this bulletin board that said uh, uh, job opening as a teleprompter operator. And I read the job description, but it was for an outside company, not inside the studio. So I read the job description, and I liked what it said. It said, Work with the actors, the writers, the producers, directors, the crew. Be a part of the crew. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do right there. I want to be part of the crew, not just in the background, be working in security, you know, in a set. You know, I want to be part of the film crew. I want, I want to be part of the what's happening, right? So uh, being a veteran, you know, a, a military, U.S. military veteran, I contacted the veteran rep. Uh, my veteran rep, uh, and I gave him the number and the information of this job description and everything for being a teleprompter operator. Uh, and the company whose name was called Greenberg Teleprompting. That's right, Greenberg Teleprompting. Uh, he was living in Santa Clarita, I believe, at the time. Uh, but we worked everywhere. You know, we go everywhere. And remember, this was in the early 90s. So everything that had to do with teleprompting was big, huge. The equipment we use, heavy and big. Everything was large and heavy. So I paid my dues is what my my point is here. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's how the ball started getting rolling for me getting involved in the teleprompting world. In the film, television, concert, corporate, private industry sector. So I went on an interview and my veteran rep set up the interview. I talked to Mr. Greenberg himself, his wife and the secretary were there at his home. Uh, we were in the living room. He had to go somewhere and take care of something. So I was left with the secretary and the wife. So they're asking me questions. Have you ever done teleprompting before? No. Have you ever worked in the studios um, uh, or have you ever worked in the film industry before? I said, well, other than the studios, at Universal and currently at Warner Brothers, uh, that's it. Uh, that's uh, the extent of what I know about the film industry. So she said, "Do you? Uh, how fast do you type, or do you type at all?" I'm like, uh, "I've typed before in word processing in the '80s when I went to um, <clears throat> a technical college for word processor, word processing. I did data entry, so I was familiar with typing, but I was not fast." I don't even remember how fast I type when she asked me, how fast do you type? Are you a fast typist? No, I'm not really. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't kept up on how fast I type or anything, you know. Uh, so she's uh, they're like, okay, um, all right. Well, every, everything, you know, sounds good and everything. But the only the only issue or problem we're having right now is, you know, you, we would like you to be able to type faster. Because in this business, when they're asking you to make a change or take out a paragraph and retype something in, you, you should be fast at what you're doing. You need to be fast at it. So I was a bit bummed and like, okay, so, you know, um, go ahead and practice your typing at home. Practice, practice, practice. Get fast as you can. Get fast at typing because you got to get a script. They're going to give you a hard copy script on paper. And it's going to be about this thick, you know, of a script. And you got to type all of that in there. So the faster you type, the faster you get the script done for the show or the award show, whatever you're going to work on. So I'm like, okay. Uh, bummed out, a bit disappointed. You know, very disappointed, actually. Uh, I was excited. I thought I would have the job. I had all the other qualifications, you know, um, to, to work, uh, you know, for them. I was willing to learn on the job. So I went home, bummed out, told the wife. This is what happened. I explained to her just exactly what I'm explaining to you. 
So I was sitting, I sat around watching TV, bummed out a bit, and trying to think of my next move, you know. Still working at Warner Bros. at the time, though. So luckily I had that. I got a call about three hours later, and it happened to be the owner, Lynn Greenberg, Mr. Greenberg himself. And he says, hey, Keith, how's it going, man? I go, well, <laughs> a little bummed, you know, a little disappointed. I, I, I couldn't uh, step up, you know, and I wasn't a fast typist. You know, I don't type fast. So, um, but I'm going to practice. I'm going to get, I'm going to get fast for you and, you know, uh, come back to you. And, and try, I really want to work with you with, in your business. I'm very interested in this uh, field of teleprompting. Uh, so he says, um, how about this? He goes, you know what? Let me tell you something. You want a job? I said, yes, sir. I, I would definitely like that. So I was getting excited. I was getting like, oh, boy, is he going to give me a job? Uh, so he said, well, you got the job. I want to hire you. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, thank God. Thank God. Oh, my God. I have a family. You know, my wife, my our daughter, the house, everything, bills. So he says, let me tell you the reason why I'm going to hire you. Your honesty. Your honesty. That's what got me the job. He had explained to me that he had had many other operators come on board with him and his company gave him smoke, all the smoke, you know, it blew up his, you know what, about, yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, no, we're going to, yeah, yeah. Because he, he said, we, I need really good operators. I need you to stick around, you know, work in my business. Da -da. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And he says, once they got in the, the jobs that they were doing, working in the studio, meeting the camera people, the sound people, uh, arts department, gaffers, grips, whatever it was, whoever they connected with, that they were most most inter interested in doing as a job, they would talk to them, get to know them, get their phone numbers, tell them that they would love to be in their field. So they would leave him. He hired him, gave him a chance, and then they ended up leaving him to go work for the camera, sound, lighting, whatever it was. And so he says, you know, I'm just tired of the lies. You know, I'm sick and tired of the lies and people blowing smoke up my caboose and you know and then leaving me right away and then i got to rehire people and i'm just i just got frustrated but with you he said because you were honest you could have blew some more smoke up to my caboose or their cabooses my wives and my secretaries and said oh yeah i type fast you know i could do this but you were honest about it you said you, you didn't type fast but you were gonna practice practice and, and get fast at it he goes man i i really appreciated that honesty that i'm hiring you on your honesty and your merits for being honest. <laughs> I was like, hallelujah. I'm like, okay, okay. And that's just me. I'm, you know, I am brutally honest. I am so brutally honest. That I get in trouble with my, my wife nowadays, you know, my current wife now, Kathy, my sunshine. Um, if I feel like going to the movies by myself or go at the time, if I have Nosbury Farm pass, I'll go to Knoxbury Farm by myself and everything. Not because I didn't want to take her, because I just needed my alone time. You know, after a long day of working in the film industry, a long, stressful job uh, that I just did or whatever, I just needed to go sit by myself, just unwind, you know. So I would tell my wife, you know, hey, you know, so how was your day? Great. Uh, after work, I went here to the movies. I went to Universal. I went to Knoxbury Farm, whatever, you know. Uh, and she's like, oh, yeah, I would have liked to have gone. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm sorry. I, you know, sometimes I need like I need my alone time. So my honesty gets me in trouble sometimes, and I feel bad because I have to tell my wife I did these things. I could have, I could hide them from her. I could just not tell her, right? And that's what I, I'm, I could hear you all saying, well, just don't tell her. Why'd you tell her? You, know? she would never have known. Well, that's the thing. You're hiding things, you know, and she'll never have known, or he would have never have known if you didn't tell him. But for me, being so honest and loving to be honest, I have nothing to hide. Anyway, let me let me digress and get back to <laughs> the teleprompting story of how I got started in the in the teleprompting uh, uh, industry, and so there it was, working at Warner Brothers, saw a job bulletin board about teleprompter teleprompter operator job description, what they do and everything, uh, 
went to my veteran rep because I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. Went to him. He uh, hooked up the interview with me. Got me an appointment with them. Uh, I did the interview. Didn't get the job right away because I didn't type fast. But the owner found out that I was honest. He wanted. He hired me for being honest, and he trained me on the job. That's what he did. He said, "I'll train you on the job. Don't even worry about that. We're gonna get you uh, up to speed and up to par on on uh, everything teleprompting." And remember, this was in the early '90s. Um, so. I paid my dues with a lot of heavy equipment and a lot of, you know, bulky ways to get things attached and how they were done back then compared to now. Um, you know, I'll get all into all the updated uh, equipment that I use now and and what I'm doing now, who I'm working with and everything about that on another video. But like I said, this is already going to be 25 minutes. Uh, I want to keep this at least 30 minutes uh, long, no longer. So basically, this video was all about how I got started in the film industry, and I just explained that all to you. If you, uh, at, at this point, and you're still watching the video, just rewind the video and then listen back to how I said I got started and how I was out of a, you know, job at one time in my life there and, and whew, stressing and a whole bunch of stuff I was going through. Uh, but that's, that's how I got started in the film industry, working as a teleprompter operator, for back then, uh, the, what, the company's still around now, Greenberg Teleprompting. At the time, it was owned by uh, Mr. Lynn Greenberg. Uh, it is currently, well, maybe I'll talk about that in another video. But I'll just say Greenberg is still out there. Uh, awesome company. I, I know the owners, um, uh, Jim and Karen. So I think, um, I think we're going to start wrapping this up now. Um, I know I, there's a lot still that I could talk about, about teleprompting and all that, which I'm going to get into on my next video, because like I said, I don't want this video to go over 30 minutes. So please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post them on the, uh, at, uh, below in the comment section. If you like the video, please, uh, hit the like button. Uh, and please subscribe uh, because it does help my channel out. As you know, anybody on YouTube who knows any about anything about YouTube, uh, you know, subscribing and liking and the analytics of the videos of people watching and liking and subscribing helps the channel, right? I'm new at this. This is my first video that I'm going to make a real video explaining to you uh, a career that I am currently in and have been since the early 90s. So I, I was trying to figure out what am I going to talk about? I didn't even know what to talk about. What am I going to, what do I tell these people? What do I, I didn't just want to randomly pick anything. I said, okay, what do I know about? I know about the film industry. I know about teleprompting. That's what I do. You know, <laughs> so I'll talk about that. So it's going, uh, going to be 28 minutes. So I want to thank everybody who tuned in, who gave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, once again, I am Keith Sr. And these, this is going to be a series of uh, maybe four to five videos on everything about teleprompting in the film, television, commercial, corporate, concert, private sectors, and how to get into the film industry and all that kind of stuff. And so that's what I talked about. But I thank you all once again, uh, uh, tuning into this channel and, and listening to me. Uh, talking about how I got started in the film industry. And I'm going to explain that at some point uh, how exactly you can do it. But I did give a little inside information of what you can do to get started. My, the questions I always get, how did you get started in the film industry? How did you get started? And I told you all about that. Okay. So just look at the beginning of the video or scan the video and find out that point of how I told you what's the best uh, way that I know of for you to start off. All right, everybody, I wish you all the best, endless blessings to you all. Until the next video, this is Keith Sr. Take care, everybody.